Hello everybody and welcome back to the Epic Land Valorant broadcast. We are doing the lower bracket semi-finals and we've just finished map one yeah. where Vex did manage to clutch it up on a 13-9 victory. What we expected, I'm your uh, caster Minnow with my lovely co-caster Chamberine. Yes, I'm, I've had a good day. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go with the second map and the best of three, of course. You know, we do have... Another a third map in the, in the wings, should we get there? We do have a game immediately after it as well. You do feed right into one another, of course. Some of these teams will be getting to, uh, quite exhausted, quite tired. I imagine that that's starting to, it's starting to kind of weigh on their mind a little bit here. Haven is where we head to next. And I'm not surprised to see it. We've seen Haven quite a lot throughout this event. It seems to be like the main maps we see is Haven and Bind, Haven and Bind, and then... We've seen a, we've seen a scent. I mean, I've seen a scent earlier on a third map. I've seen some. I've seen some breeze. I haven't casted breeze, but I've seen a couple of it. But Lotus seems to be Vex's playing grounds for now, at least. Yeah, especially yeah. Lotus seems to be their playing ground and uh, Haven. We're probably going to see a little bit of a shake up. Mm. Sogbox did look actually. Sogbox did really strong on Lotus. We can't yeah. count them out. They looked fantastic, uh, and especially on Haven. I think we're going to maybe see the, the darker side to them taking mm. the. Uh, taking the uh, aggressive approach to it uh, and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it uh, especially Breeze as well if we do end up on that deciding map yeah I haven't casted it yet I haven't ever casted Breeze ever the entire time ever. I've casted nope never casted it because it wasn't I suppose it wasn't in the map wasn't the map time last we, uh, time yeah, and uh, it horrific. just was the, the time before that when I casted Val as well um, for those of you at home I have only ever casted Val a few times I'm just feeling it out getting in getting in getting, getting, getting in, in the, the groove, groove. Of, getting in the groove of it and this is my second event at Epic and last time completely different map pool just completely changed this time well I'm surprised at how deep Sunset got by the way Sunset's been banned yeah, Sunset <laughs> it's been banned the, the first two maps banned. every time it almost could have been picked Always. I'm kind of hoping that someone picks it just for a bit of chaos really imagine if I mean BO5 final I mean, it should be forced to play. <laughs> yeah, like it's there, it's close, it could potentially come through. I'm, I'm hoping for it. Yeah, I haven't seen much of it. Yes, of course, maybe dreaded casting it because, again, <laughs> yeah. because of that, there's not much. There's just at pro level, again, off season, overlapping, there's just not a lot to actually get your teeth into with the map. So, yeah. I'd like to see it for the fun aspect of it, but at the same time, there's that kind of element of, ooh, wait a minute, this is new, this is unfound territory, just like with the deadlock pick was, but deadlock has not been seen since since yeah. this morning. I, at 10, I feel like it, it's almost like a delirium. I've been here for quite a, quite a long time. I feel like I'm almost like hallucinating. Was there actually a deadlock this morning? Wait a minute, <laughs> yeah. does she actually exist in this? Uh, like, like uh, is that a rumour or what? But yeah, no, it was. I, it, I can confirm it was there. First game. It might be for a reason that we haven't seen anymore. Maybe, uh, maybe, just for, just, maybe uh, for a reason. Just a little bit of a reason. Yeah, as yeah, deadlock yeah. is a terrible, terrible. <laughs> cough, cough. But uh, yeah, Sunset. I'm sort of kind of glad that we don't actually have to cast a game on Sunset yeah. because, like you said, I, I also don't have any really experience. Yeah, no, like, no one does. I think I know it. about two callouts on the map. The, uh, even the teams I was, so I went around. I difficult. spoke to, I spoke to the only team I spoke to about it was Scalp, and yeah. you know, you know, I'll let you on a rumor, I'll let you on an unfound piece of knowledge that I'm Scottish. You know, <laughs> so there's a reason I was speaking to Scalp. Um, but yeah, we were talking about it at Sunset and how they they actually prepped some stuff for it. They never, unfortunately, they got put out before they got to play it, and they, they you know, yeah. alluded that they might go into it, but they just decided that. And I think, I think yeah. Joe at the time was saying to me that he was just like, no, I can't stand this, I can't stand that map, even though we prepped it. Mm. Yeah. But now, you know, we're just waiting to get everything tidied up, make sure to get we get the players into the lobby and then we can kind of crack on with it. But you get to see your beautiful faces, your beautiful, shiny faces. It is. The heat has now started to rise, given that, the, I mean, the games. We can just go for the back of that, yeah, to be honest. No, honestly, the games have been good. The, the games have been fantastic. So much yelling, so much excitement yep. here in, uh, at, out, at Epic Land. Uh, Sogbox especially, they were really making themselves mm. vocal. Uh, <laughs> they were running those rounds in Lotus. Uh, and yeah, we've just, we're looking like it's not going to be too far off the game starting. Mm. The fifth player is now in the lobby. Yes, uh, we're ready and we are go. ready to begin yes, we are. shortly. Uh, yeah, we're going to be heading on to Haven. The agents, what do you think we're going to be seeing on Haven? Do you think it's going to be the standard? I do you think, think we're going to see that mirror, that omen, breach, jet, killjoy, sova? I imagine it's going to be pretty standard. Both teams? The, uh, I think we, I mean, earlier on we seen a mirror comp as well coming on it, so I think it will likely be that. I, I would be surprised if they are slightly, if there is differences, but we will find out in just a second as you can start, slowly start to kind of find their way in, and looks like it pretty much. It pretty much looks the same. Solo coming through on one side as well, so slightly different. Yeah, slightly different. Slightly different. Most, back, well, backbone's the same, but slightly different. Yeah. yeah. 
And I suppose that is mainly the uh, the case for this map, really. Yeah, you just kind of alternate between like a, a sober and a sky, mm. uh, or yeah, the, the staple agents for this map do tend to be the jet, really mm. strong, uh, just really good sight lines, yeah. really good uh, spots for the dash, and combination with the breach there, really nice uh, fault line lineups yeah uh, especially sure. just comboed with the jet breach and jet just an absolute classic combo flash dash yeah, yeah. it's just like staple yeah uh, I mean it's not as strong anymore now that jet smoke doesn't well, last as long I mean that's what I was going to say I was like the, the jet changes are just it feels like they just haven't made a, a change at all like she's when, still when so you, strong you, you, you couldn't a game and you still see a jet every single round <laughs> almost insta locked Every round of it, it oh, it's always there. There's always it's always the same. It's, I mean, I come from Siege, and it's the same thing. There's always one operator that just gets played constantly, all the time. Doesn't matter how many nerfs they get, people are just so comfortable on it. But you know, there is a reason to it. Like you highlighted, sightlines are good. It's a good operator. It's a good agent to bring for this one. So, no surprise he's there with him. Yeah, and looks like we will be heading into round one imminently. Looking at the buy again, we've got both omens doing the staple. Light armor, paranoia, yep. childhood step. So they can get themselves into a nice position on site and use that paranoia to initiate mm. an execute or a Stempy initiating the match with uh, oh, Riding Light destroyed. into Garage, allowing Rudy to just dash in and take that space. Immediately does just that. So Found King Haas and Cole, they look to go and converge up towards the top end. There is only one member there, Prophet, getting the plan down Spike. for now. Luki as well is going to find at least a kill onto Eagle Peak, but they have a comfortable support of full control of C. Vector nowhere to be seen for now, but they find themselves a double kill as they try to funnel in through towards the oh. side as Prophet, though he'll find one back on the petals. Oh, beautiful shot there from Stempy, shuts down to Luki and his aggression that can come standing. off the back of it. But Lou, Luki, Luka, they link up together. Lou going for the defuse, at least gets it halfway for now. Prophet it. Coming through, just has the smoke to cover for now, waiting for it to dissipate. Of course, the change, we will know exactly when it does that, but King Haas doesn't even leave anything to be desired. He'll finish off Profit. And now, just a case of finishing off the Great retake from Vex there. I think Sokok might survived. have made a little bit of a mistake overextending into CT, but they weren't mm. able to take that site very quickly. Uh, just the use of that guiding light into Garage, just forcing the player out of there so fast, allowing them to take C. Pretty much uncontested. Mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't any blood drop until uh, they actually got onto the side. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was quite an interesting round. Uh, very good approach from Sogbox. They just lost their fights and yeah. they overextended a little that bit. Happens. But that happens and it's fine. And now we're heading into the second round with Vex picking up a Guardian. Looking to get some yeah. Sheriff Town as well for Sogbox. Of course, not to hot on the funds for now. Look at those, start things off with a kill onto Eagle Peak and have to check your corners here, Rudy Low. Right round the corner is King Haas waiting for it. He's going to pop out, find himself one, but there's another one there. There's two to be found for King Haas and a third almost there, but no, he wants to dash away. Chinch Last doesn't want to standing. go for it, but eventually goes oh. back as Luca joined at the hip together. They'll find themselves quite a few kills in that mid area. Next. Wonderful round, two all so far. And that's the kind of flawless that we should be expecting yeah. from these second rounds. However, champ, I think you can agree, throughout this whole tournament, the amount of second rounds we've seen, like, the people that have been winning pistols, and then they've it's lost crazy. their second to a thrifty. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even think I can count on both my hands how many Listen times I've seen box. that this tournament so far, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I like, have I had one this morning where it thrifted into the thrifty. Yeah. Uh, it was, oh, the, the, amount of, the amount of them that have came through, I think I've had a thrifty counter throughout the entire event. This is probably the highest there is. It's just, it seems to be the situation every single time. The, round, the team that you think, no, nope, they're not going to win this, they go against it. But then again, I think like the reason that, of course, we were slightly behind schedule was because there were so many games that went to three maps as well. Did you think that could be actually just how the players are playing these games? Or is, could it even be just sort of an evolution of how Valorant is even approached? Uh, I think it's like a swing a little bit of... I'm yeah. seeing a lot more attacker side. A lot more attacker wins. Yeah. Play, they, they, you know, of course, d defense of the time on their side. and It's quite dynamic and you can never really say which side favours what. But right now, like I'm feeling like uh, there's a lot of attacking side wins coming through, especially in the games I've been casting. And just aggression is... is oh, it's, it's just been—it's been a hell of an event. It's been exciting. All the games that I've been casting have been a fun event. But speaking of the pace of the games, it looks as though the pace has changed inside this round. The 45-second mark has been struck, and there's quite a bit of dedication towards B. But Sogbot's dance around in towards the garage side, and it looks as though they want to rotate in towards C and see the link now. 
There's Rudy just waiting for someone and just but there's no one gonna be there. Prophet, he thinks pedals. Thirty seconds left. King ass. Looking to hold down the site. Sheriff in hand. Unaware, maybe, of the four players that are around the first out garage. Um, Rudy does get caught off guard by Luki. I mean, has been initiated. <laughs> Very hot or cold this time, but Sog, they are very comfortable for now. They have a three versus one scenario and they win it one out. And again, we can hear them screaming across the land hall. Eagle Peak finishes off the round onto Luca. And Vex, they let that one slip a little bit. Sogbox, they get themselves on the board. We always know when Sogbox is securing themselves around. We can hear the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the hollering in the it. background from, uh, from all the players of Sogbox. And yeah, it's looking like a strong start for them. I think they're confident going into this yeah, map. Yeah, it's so. their map. They know what they're doing, and it looks like they've got a plan. And they are so. currently just got themselves a nice buy. They do have a guardian, but the rest of them have full rifles. Uh, everything's looking great in Sogbox's favour. Certainly is. Just sending that guiding light down onto A Long. Uh, Luki did actually get spotted, but it's okay because I think they are going to just maybe. Let that happen. They know yeah, there's a player there. Just care. Uh, yeah, the Sova is just using his drone just to see. Hasn't actually spotted any players, but Prophet Ooh. is just waiting outside of A main, following the Trailblazer. Maybe going to see if they can find a player. Doesn't spot Luki with that bow. Oh, he's still in the corner. He's just going to stay there. There's no way he's going to move. Yeah, he's just he's just decided. You know what? This is. I've made my bed. I'm going to lie in it. I'm just going to chill here for a bit. And still, Subbox trying to kind of make the decision. They're sending out the feelers. The members kind of sent out to try and do some recon and figure out. You know, actually, where do we want to go with this? And speaking of recon, Luke's going to send out oh. a lot of as well. Although Luke comes out the top, and that gunfight towards Profit as well. Luke feels a little bit of pressure and just decides that to drop back for now and gives up that position. Yeah, he's in the corner for quite some time. Just though, just make sure to check it. Just to double check that Luke has dropped back off. Smoke now will at least cover his position and the reposition for now, but he's unfortunately got caught in a sticky left. situation. Stuck in the corner, Lou will fall. Lucky right after it, and look how things going on. It's a back and forward. The kite kill feed lights up with the Christmas tree, and now it's a one versus one. Chinch versus King Haas. Question is who is going to come out on top? Sogbox still have to get the plant down. They have left. to get the spike on the floor. Spike Teasing it out, eventually will go down. King has not waiting around and swings right off the back of it. Here's the sound cue. Swings right out, takes his head off his shoulders and gets the defuse down. Extremely brazen play there from Sogbox. Just getting that plant down in that spot at the back site. Unaware of where King Ass could actually be positioned. I will take back what is mine. Yeah, I think it was just a little bit too ambitious from Zinch just yeah. to try and plant on that back site because as soon as they finished planting, that was King Ass's opportunity to peek and find the kill. Mm. Uh, I think they did hear the audio cue that it was quite close to them, uh, allowing them to get a safe swing and find the kill. Um, but now, Zinch ever so close to their ultimate one point off yeah. rolling thunder. Yeah. Uh, Looking like that could be a really nice approach to a site here as we're fifth round. Oh, second. A bit more aggression here. I don't want to say that, but they just send out the utility instead to say wait on it for now. Look at though with the up in hand they are just moving out of that situation. She sends the shots down, gives away their position and pulls back. Doesn't want to continue to prod okay. that area. Just doesn't want to stay the old, stay the welcome, which I like to see from anyone that runs that operator. Of course, they tend to just get a bit a little bit angsty and just push into it. They think, you know, I can I can get this, I can get this, but look at and which I'm surprised as well, Loki, considering how often he's just flung himself into a into a site off the back of it and just beamed right in towards it and being aggressive this yes, time. Just, he, he shows the patience and he pulls back and that means now that Solbox have some mid room thinking to be done here. Yeah, they're just taking their time. Uh, they pop the dark cover down onto garage window. Uh, as they're approaching through garage, two members of Vex remain on the site. Petals, not caught by the paranoia, hoping to cover his teammate. He does find Rudy, but probably get upgrade. Back and forward again, the kill feed finds a bit of action. Three versus four scenario. In favour of Sawbox for now, the spike will be planted and they're just going to get themselves out of that scenario. Let's get all the way back down, pull right back down. But looky, he's hopped up. He's ready with the op. He has the overwatch. And every single one of them is pulled back. They've had quite a bit of space here. They're relying on that rolling thunder to come through. It does come through there. Stempy will find the kill onto Lou off the back of that. As Luca now goes for the swing out. 
tries to spot anyone, but there's no one there. They have it half done with the defuse here. They have to be careful what another one comes through. Eagle Peak comes out on top with that kill onto Luca. There's only one member now for Vexed. It's the operator, it's Luki. Not enough to be done, no. And yep. let's just get out of dodge. That, gun, that round's done. Yeah, brilliant use of Rolling Thunder there. Yeah. Uh, from Sogbox, just to push them back off the spike. But mainly, you know, the uh, defensive jet actually, Luki, used their updraft to get on top of the oh, box. Yeah. yeah. That Rolling Thunder caused them to fall back, and then by the time they're done, they make their way back over. They have to repeat with that operator, even though they had such a good uh, off angle. Yeah, that exactly. Box. Uh, yeah, really well played from Cinch using that rolling funders to secure the round. Uh, they were in a four v here three situation. Yeah, they had the advantage. They had the advantage, but but really well played. Yeah, because well I mean, good use of it just to secure a round. So yeah, I mean, you always look around and you're like, oh wait a minute, why are four people just abandoning the spike there? Oh right, okay, that's right. They got the rolling funder. Right, okay, that makes sense now. And it works out beautifully done, beautifully timed, and great use of the utility. Speaking of utility, right, a little bit early teases for that comes out the dog set out from Stempy trying to find some information. We'll get this back, but so much. Really not in a rush to do these executes for now. Yeah, as we can just see, uh, Sockbox, yeah, not in a rush at all. They're just taking their time and so uh, seeing if any players would actually swing them. Both players are currently backside. Oh, Rudy. Really? holding it with a classic. Has spotted Rudy, but Rudy has spotted him. Oh, he's repositioned again. Yeah. He's moved. He's moving around, honestly. He's just like... Spike planted. Uh, water, so fluid. Just moving around and... He finds himself a kill off the back of it. Not quite able to react quick enough. The spike goes down as well, so advantage Sogbox, but King Ass is on the rotate. He has to make sure to check this corner. Eagle Peak is lying and wait. Rudy's found himself a double kill. Doesn't check the corner. Eagle Peak comes out on top versus King Hass. Lou at least has one to find onto Rudy, and now it's a two versus four situation. Spike is still cooking. But it looks like for now they are not interested in going for the retake. Well, there's one rotating out and it looks as though they're just going to try for something. And Lou, uh, maybe just overstayed his welcome a little bit there. I think probably the com given was to Lou just to stay behind and see if they can take out one with that stinger. Yeah. You know, because they're probably going to upgrade in the next round. Uh, Luki saved the operator though at all costs. Yeah. And they could actually be seen an interaction. Ooh. No. Just do get away scot free with that operator. Squeaky bum time at the end and there for a sec. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, Lou, even though they did lose a life there, they have been able to afford a Vandal for this round yeah. as Vex are heading into this next event. So by Rudy with their own operator for the attack side. Yeah, it's so a little bit of a clash of operators here. I oh, love it. Love to see it. Love it. Love it. Operator versus operator. Really, again, I, I, I highlighted mid round. Hot hold so far today. Very much one is an absolutely wonderful round and then off the back of that, you'll forget, to, you'll forget to look in the right direction as it goes around. It's very, very much a strange performance from. But again, getting late in the day, these things happen. Mistakes do happen. It is what it is. King has again in a bit of a lurker in that corner, waiting for anyone to come round. But Sogbox, like they've done time and time again, not interested in being aggressive and quickly starting these rounds. They're just going to wait and feel out the defensive side here next. Yeah, as we're looking, they're using the trailblazer up now just to see if they can spot any information on A. Uh, haven't quite found anything. They do know the Killjoy setup is there. They did spot the turret. Cinch has engaged. Swarm grenade deployed. Vex just taking their time, not wanting to overcommit to anything. Making sure B isn't the actual target of this hit. So the dark cover does go down on A, and I think Vex are aware of what is about to happen. Spike seems to be looking to be planted imminently by Sokka. Certainly is. Still not yet though. It will eventually go down. Finch does get it on the floor. The spike now. Defender Killjoy will come through. So that will force them all right back out the door. And that means the Vex can funnel themselves in and try and recover it out here. King Haas, look at the patience, look at the trigger discipline. He's just not going to do anything for it. He lets Eagle Peak go right back out. He doesn't decide to do anything with it. And he'll get a kill off the bat. The flash from behind as well. Beautifully done from King Haas. The patience to hold off the trigger discipline. And Vex get the retake off the back of that. Prophet not even wanting to engage. That. And they're actually going to fall. <laughs> Luki finds the final kill on the Prophet. What are they doing? Re-peeking into that. It was just, just guaranteed death. Oh my gosh, what a round. King has 
fantastic lurk there. Yeah. Just by <laughs> such triggered discipline, oh, Ego Peak completely unaware of King Just chasing him. Oh, oh. Chef's kiss, that's all I can say that Here. King has there. Waits for that, he knows, yeah, they're going to go back after defending the server. And a brilliant use of lockdown as well, just to really, really, really secure that sound. Just push them off, so allowing King has to get away with that. Oh, revealing yeah. area. Fantastic stuff. Wonderful round there from Vex on that retake. Again, Sogbox, I've not starting things off too quickly. Send out a couple of feelers to make sure that they can try and gather some intel to start things out. It looks as though A is the focus, like they've done a few times. They have got the spike down up on that side times they've just not quite been able to play these retakes to their full potential. Lou with a bit of an overwatch knows that there's going to be a few players funneling through that smoke there, the pepper and through doesn't way. quite land. Profit though, he will go for a almost denied there, does get it down oh just in time. But the blade storm in the hands of Rudy, the smoke will dissipate and he'll claim the life of Lou off the back of it. They have the advantage, the spike is down, so box looking comfortable for now, but Petals will have at least one thing to say, Rudy is dealt with and it's just an onslaught back and forward. Softbox will only have one member now alive, it's Profit. Yes, the spike is on the floor, but there's just not enough HP to really do anything. You have to be clinical with the shots, goes for the peek over, Luca not interested in wasting any more time. He goes on the hunt, shuts it down, Vex they win another round back to back 5-3 now on the scoreline Recalling just like a couple rounds where when we saw Sage use their rolling thunder to secure a round we see Luca do the exact same not waiting to get an entire mm. team caught in it but just using it to catch a single player yeah. to secure the round it really does solidify yeah. a round in their pocket because they know it's one guy and they're going to be stunned mm -hmm. Just a, it's just a wise decision because you know they're going to get more ult points. You don't want to be saving it for too long because sometimes you just save the ult for the perfect opportunity mm. and that opportunity never comes. It does. And sometimes it's just best to use it in those situations where you just get to take a round. Yeah, yeah. it's always good. Use your utility to its maximum when you have it. Lou here though, a little bit of a peek up towards E Long. Rudy though starts things off very quickly though and deals with petals. Up the pick onto the Killjoy of Vex as Rudy now goes for a rotate round and towards B site. Luca, though, on the other side, has to be careful here right through. You can see the outline as it comes around the corner. He's going to win it out, and it's one goes to Luca. There's another one on the other side. The flash, though, will have at least a push back from Stempy, though, goes around the corner, spots out the player, takes the head clean off his shoulders of Luca. And four versus three. Now they have control of that B site, and it looks as though they're going to get the spike down pretty much uncontested for now. You should run. Looks like Lou currently engaging with Profit. Potentially, I look for the kills, but Profit does actually find it. I think we could be looking at Vex potentially falling off and not actually attempting this yeah. retake. Luki. I think that's the situation. Aware. Yeah, looking to save this operator. King Ass as well. Just knows that it's over. They've, they've given away this round and they're just going to have to come back next round. With, uh, with the guns that they have, just save that money. Not throwing anything away. Maybe if they can get some exits, though. King Ass about to engage with Sage. A little bit of a hairy moment, unfortunately, he'll fall, but look, he at least finds one onto Eagle. Yes, the attacks will win the round and um, Profit, guys. Uh, <laughs> That's unfortunate. This looks nice, but not nice enough to die. Gets his ankles clipped by the spike and then falls straight off logs. That's unfortunate. It happens to the rest of us. We've all done it. Luke, you not even needed to pull the trigger as the spike did his job for him. It did. It really did. Yeah. It happens again. It happens to the rest of us. We've all done it. We've all done it. I was really thinking that Lou might actually use that hunter's fury to stop the lockdown. Yeah. And then push onto the site, but I think. Uh, maybe Sog even predicted that and then pushed up forward just to prevent me from even getting away with it. Yeah. Potentially what the scenario was. Very quick push out towards Seas. They all funnel down. Conga line right in towards the site though. King Ass at least has a bit of an overwatch. You'll find one, but he's immediately refried petals with a rotate in from behind as well. And it's a back and forward here. Scales are balanced for now as we head into. A bit of a, a kind of reshuffle as it looks as though for now they are switching out towards B site. Yeah, it looks like they're now approaching that B site hit. Spike is coming in. They've secured the angles. C link is smoked off. They haven't got B, uh, they haven't got A link smoked off currently. It is open, Spike but planted. it is being watched. Petals oh. edging so close to the smoke. I think they might have seen Sinch, <laughs> and yes, they have. They find the kill. Lou finds another. However, Ego, Ego Peak. Peak has something else to say. Ego Peak. Take Luca. 
Eagle Peak, not again. No, looky, he shuts it down before Eagle Peak can live up to their name. Rudy, though, from behind. He catches Lucky lacking inside of B, the attackers of Sogbox. They win that one out. Five apiece on Haven. Sogbox looking to equalise. Five, five. We're going to heat it up again. This is heat the match again. we've been looking for. Just fully <laughs> equalised match right now. As soon as we hit that vexed attack size, we might have a different story on our hands. However, right now, Sogbox looking as strong as ever, not letting this go. They are really looking to bring it to that third deciding map on Breeze. Certainly are, and they're going to start that off by heading it towards the seaside. Funnel and down, all stacked up together. Quite a bit of dedication in the early utility to make sure that they have a full control. Vexed are wise tip for now. They're not going to go in. Slowly does it. Rudy's on the other side of the smoke here. Chin's still going for the plans around the corner. They spot them out. Oh, Pels is going to lose their life. King Haswell with an, a, a refrag on the other side. It's Prophet that's fell this time. Three versus four in favour of Vex for now because King Haswell has managed to deal with Eagle Peak. You had a wonderful round the last time, but there's a couple back remaining. and forward. Even one never left alive, and there's too much to do. Luca comes out on top versus Chinge, and the defuse will come through from Vex. King House absolutely unstoppable, finding the three-piece yeah. that round, just taking fights and finding headshots with his Vandal. No one could put him down. Using that paranoia even quite late into the round, it's not like he even relied Last on it for those kills. In the half. Brilliant stuff from King House there, and fantastic retake from Vexed. Looking like they're going to try and take this uh, this half in their favour. They've solidified it to at least half and half. But can they find themselves the seventh to give themselves the edge? Entering the second half of the second map. Hello. Just waiting to start things off in this round. Patience is the game here, I think, maybe for Sogbox. But we've seen a couple of, of aggressive pushes. And it looks as though for this one, sending a, a little bit more of a split. Not all funneling into the one area. But having quite a bit of a repositioning there. Profit, though, is punished for the early aggression. King Ass comes out on top again. You highlighted in that last round a three piece. A wonderful performance this time, continuing on with momentum. Up one, the first blood as well. So one of the start to the round here for Vexed. But the spike is edging ever so closer towards A, and that means that we are beckoning on the edge of potentially a post match scenario. Yeah, Vexed just taking their time. All five players left alive in a 5v4, ever so close to Rudy now. <laughs> just around the corner, Rudy comes out on top versus Luca. Not quite aware Spike of the positioning. Planted. The spike will go down for each now in terms of the player count. Advantage, Sogbox for now. A couple of chip damage on the other side there. Oh, a shot from Petals. Rudy gets aggressive, tries to reposition and get in the face of the Killjoy, but flicks it much quicker. Great reaction. Kill they are. Now they're going to attempt to try and go for this retake. They have a good position here, but Chinch is going to slow it down for now. He'll deal with Petals. And they're just going back and forward, back and forward. One member now for Sogbox. And three for Vexed. Clutch scenario for Eagle Peak. Lou getting on the DT here. Sends out some shots there. Finds one. Can't quite spot where the player is. Can't quite line it up. And through the smoke, unfortunately. Shot in the front hands. But King Ass goes on the hunt and shuts it down. 7 5 now in favour of Vexed. Switching sides. Entering the second half now. Vex did secure that seventh round on the board. Can I now take most likely an aggressive approach to this to just try and seal the deal, find their way through to the lower bracket finals and send Sogbox home. Everything is on the line for them. They need to come back now more than ever in the lower bracket semi-finals. Certainly the situation. I mean, th at this point as well, it's, it's, uh, it's actually a win-win. Because if you win, you get through. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. If you lose, you get to go and have another, what, what an hour and 15 minutes to have a couple of pints. Yep. Close out your evening. And that's it. You've had a good performance. You've got a lot of action. Yeah, we miss out in the final, but uh, at least they can have a little bit of a later night. Have some drinks and get to sleep. Enjoy yeah, exactly. extra hour of sleep. Exactly, enjoy it because the clocks do go back, which is interesting because you know they're going to jump back and maybe potentially in the middle of this cast if we go to the, the if we go all the way to three maps. So could be yeah. interesting. We'll be back in time in the middle of a cast. Has it been done? Been done before? Is a real question. We're going to time travel during the cast. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> so that is exactly how it works. Look at this, by the way. They're not moving. They're not moving at all. They're just standing still. Barely any movement on either team. 
I'm most... almost I'm almost doubting that the game's like frozen for a sec. Everyone's that still. I'm just thinking, wait a minute, are we, uh, is the game frozen? Enemy but no, it's not. I'll assure you it hasn't. It's Ooh. very, very, very patient gaming so far here, but now it will explode into a cacophony of fights here. Stempy will come out top versus Luca. Of course, it is indeed a pistol round, so there will be a back and forward as they just decide to step off here a little bit. Sog walks in. Vex, they're going to go into the other side. They're just going to funnel into the middle side as Eagle Peak Low, you'll find one onto King Haas. Look immediately on the refrag situation. Looking to get the plant down. Petals oh. could potentially be rewarded with himself. A double from behind, though. The jump around, almost getting away from it, Stampy, but unfortunately they lose their life. The spike is down. One versus two scenario. Shadow will indeed travel, man. Uh, it's not going to be enough to cover it off here because they're going to funnel through here. Actually, this actually could be a good situation to break through the smoke there, but there's both players joined at the hip together. Petals are there to react off the back of it. 8 5 now. First round on the half switch goes towards Vex. That round would not have happened without Petals managing to take that space, go through A Link, and get into the position where they could get two kills from behind. Mm. They got the first one and then they caught Sky of the Pants down. Just completely yep. unable to fight back and then just managing to retake that or just um, approach that fight in a 1v2. Mm -hmm. uh, even though the dark cover did come down, they just I played it together, sat in the win. smoke, waited for the peak. And it paid off. Pezzle's able to find that third pick and get another round on the board for Vex. We open up the gap a little bit. Three rounds to the good for them. And it doesn't look like they're gonna get going to get quickly out of spawn for now, as they just tease it out a little bit. Just try to find where they want to go for. We've seen this last time, almost everybody froze in, mm. in space. It was almost like, you know, like it was almost like a 2016 mannequin challenge, is what it was. Everyone was like, yeah, I'm just going to freeze on the spot. Everybody get Black Beatles playing in the background while we just chat, chill out for a few seconds. And it seems to be the exact same start to this round here. Yeah, it's just, it is strange, isn't it? We've gone, it's just took a sort of <laughs> tempo shift. Mm. Uh, really, we've just gone from quite fast or peaking every site almost. Yeah, you know, just playing a little bit of default to now static gameplay. Yeah, both this is teams excellent. just four yeah, members of Sogbox actually defending that A site. And it looks like Vex might be falling into their trap as they have started to re approach A, uh, mm. slowly making their way down long. Not really using too much util to expose themselves, but it doesn't matter because I think the rest of Sogbox are just going to keep holding this until the spike comes down. Yeah, certainly are. Of course, now they're pushing the 30 seconds. 30 seconds be forced left. to go for the A push because there's almost no much, no time to actually go for a fake out and a switch round. 20 seconds now. They're leaving it late for Vex. Have to check the corner. Look at those at the match. He's got right out of the situation. He turned right on a dime and finds one onto Cynthia. Lou with another. He finds himself a double. And there's so much aggression. Swing right round. And Luca going for the plan. The kill feed is popping. And that finds us boiling all the way down to a one versus three scenario. Sogbox have to try and find a clutch scenario. King Haas, who's, who is uh, just waiting for a peek around the back end. Prophet, who not had the greatest half here, unfortunately won't have a say at all in that round and it pays off, the patience works. Yeah, excellent patience from Vex, really really running down the clock, leaving themselves with just under 30 seconds to get the spike down at the end there, approaching like the 20 second mark on the site. Uh, they even did try to do a little bit of a fake out there, they had Petals positioned outside Garage and King Ash played to the smoke uh, in Garage window, but it just did not deter Sogbox, all four players just sat on A, still holding, but the power of Vex, they just stormed onto the site and found those kills just using the better weapons, approaching so quickly, allowed them to get that spike down. I imagine we'll see the same thing again. Placing swamp Two rounds we've seen where they haven't done anything. Swamp the thing is, is it's like getting to the stage where now, like, when is the round where Vex just explode right away at the get-go? We've seen it done. Swamp this is what they do. Out. They try to dictate the pace of the round and they try to really go for it. This position here is intriguing, though. Profit in the corner. He's just waiting Shadow's around here. Traveling. Potentially giving away their position, depositing that smoke down, and that will at least show that there is someone on the other side of that doorway and towards garage. And they're not interested in pushing into war and towards that side vex. They just decide, you know what? No, we're not going to entertain that. Let's all just head into the B. The cover does go down. Potentially still waiting for it now. The flash will come through at the same time, though. And now we'll start to see the onslaught coming through. Lucky out. comes out on top. He's been the opening pick so many times. He found it Spike all day. Lou is going to find another one to profit as well. Sogbox taking quite a bit of damage on the jet. Rudy not looking too hot. 15 HP. Eagle Peak as well. 
just with a sheriff in a hand, not too much going for Sogbox just now. Full five members up for Vexed. Luke just continues their tear through the server. Eagle Peak is their latest victim round the corner, though King Asshole and meet face to face with Stempe and Rini. He's just gonna have a little bit of you know, as the round's done. He's like, nah, nah, I don't think I'm gonna do much too much here. But it's fine, Danny. The next frag onto King Haas. Not quite checking their corners, no but it's Luke to finish it off. Nice little free piece there as well from Rudy. Just uh, Luke, sorry, getting those kills. Vexed, just unparalleled attacking. Honestly, I think just from all the teams we've seen play today, Vex yeah. just have such a strong attack. They really do. They really, really do. They're really coordinating themselves well, com combining uh, their abilities just excellently. And they've definitely got the comms there to back it up. You can see just that. Uh, perfect timing. It really is. Uh, uh, when they're initiating these ex these uh, site executes, uh, as you can see, the last three rounds they've actually just been playing really slowly at the start. But now I think we might be looking towards one of those classic vets explosive executes, or maybe not. Maybe they've not. They decided to slow down. They looked like they were going to go hard and fast, <laughs> but then they decided to slow down as soon as I think that recon came in. It may have just put a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a slowdown to the attack. To the round. Yes. And this seems that Sawbox might have actually misread this ever so slightly. They've rotated a few members out. I don't think they're aware of how many members are actually focused on that A site. Eagle Peak is the only one just looking back up an overwatch. Luki though, he gets aggressive as ever and now the call team made. So Sawbox will have to try and hightail it back towards the site. But it's going to be too late. They're going to find themselves in a retake situation. Luki like waiting for someone to swing down out of tower but no one's going to go for it. Eagle Peak instead goes for a bit of a rotate through. Luki wedged in the corner, waiting for Rudy with the up around the corner. We've seen him hot and cold. Can he be hot inside of this round? The spike is down. We have to see a retake coming through. Luka, though, he'll find at least one onto Eagle Peak. Eagle Peak even. Stempe finds one back onto Lou. And we go back and forward. Start things off. Profit is felled. Petals to the top of that engagement. Luki with a, a, with a patient game. It comes out. He comes up with two as well. Rudy is the next one to fall. Only one member now for Sawbox to try and clutch up. Rudy goes on the hunt to find and find himself a triple kill. And he does just that. Two in a row, Luki with the passion, the aggression, takes the game by the scruff of the neck and says, you know what, Bex, let's go. Let's get right in amongst these guys. That was the round so box needed. Their economy is in dire situation in comparison to Vex, comfortably all sitting on about 5,000 credits each <laughs> full buy. Yep. Vexed, looking so strong, Hunter's Fury in hand. Meanwhile, we take a look at Sog's economy. They are close to a couple ultimates. They've got the blade storm in hand, which means that they could potentially get a buy off. But I think they might be saving for an operator. Shadows traveling. You need a round, though. Of course, if this round goes away from them, it means that they're staring down the barrel of series point and heading home. But for now, vexed as ever, tentative, patient, and unwavering at the start of these rounds. They don't want to move. They're just going to hold. And just you know what, guys? Yeah, yeah, we'll just be. If anyone over peaks, and then we will dictate the play after, after that. Yeah, as we can see, Vex just taking no prisoners, just waiting to get out. Profit, seeing if potentially someone was going to peek into that smoke. No one did. Shadows Smoke's going to dissipate. And he's just going to place another one back down. Just going to try to secure that garage. But I think Sinch has now made the call. The drone is coming into oh. long as we're initiating the first fight of the round. So he finds first blood. Oh my word. Sinch there just comes right out on top and aggression as the Luki shuts him down before he can make any impact in this round though. But again, back and forward we go. His petals now takes up position inside of B, but there's no one there to entertain a gunfight. Of course, they rotate at the same time from the sofa around the back. He finds himself in a bit of a back and forward and loses out Coming towards back. Petals, who is not looking left. too hot for HP, down to 30, 30 seconds on the clock as well, but they're going to go quick, hard and fast towards C, they need to beam it as quick as possible to make sure that they can stick the spike down, going right deep, as far as they can possibly go. Time to hunt. So they're going to be working for this retake, they are looking a bit better with the <laughs> HP, and just sending out some of the utility to make sure that they can flash out this cover and go for it. Stempe, you see where the spike is, knows where the position is, goes, baits out a little bit of a defuse and there's some utility coming out from the breach at the same time, goes deep as well. But Petals and Lou, they have themselves stuck in a bit of a corner here, but Hunter's Fury to cover off the defuse, they are not messing around, they want to make sure they win this round, Chinch still gets aggressive, finds Lou, and they win it out, Cinch just pushes right up into the face and deals with the two members at the back end, 11-6. The defenders, they win that one out. Somehow, Sogbox come out on top.
Yeah, Vex did actually manage to get that spike down on C after rotating back through, leaving them in that 2v2 situation. Getting that spike down and playing offside on long is definitely the right call. Yeah. Using that Hunter's, they had the Hunter's Fury in the back pocket ready to defend themselves. But Cinch had something else to say, pushing up, really nice and aggressive uh, play down long there. Just pushing them off that angle. Um, just, yeah, just, that's definitely the approach they needed to win that round. So yeah, well played to Cinch there. Uh, as we're going to be heading into this next round, Sockbox have secured themselves a nice little bit of uh, cash, ready to... Oh yes, dollar dollar Yeah, now they've got full loadout, ready to roll against Vex. Here comes the money! Is money, it money, money, the money, order money, of money. the day for Vex? A few rounds buffer as well. Step there gets aggressive for the swing out. Oh, down not A. too much of a cost to them. Eagle Peak is going to find petals as well on the other side. Missed that one as to where that was located on the map. But Vex now not looking too hot in terms of the player count. So the advantage is they've only dropped, they've dropped one member, but Vex they've dropped one more and they're not quite ready for Rudy. Just standing on the box, ready for it. Lucky doesn't quite check. And now one versus four for King has to try and clutch this up. Sogbox not looking to take this setting down. Rudy playing a little bit of an off angle with the operator. And does find the kill on the King Ass, securing themselves the seventh round on the scoreboard. Sogbox not going to go down without a fight. They've brought themselves back into this, established themselves an economy, and have definitely done damage to Vex. They've got enough for buy, and they might have enough for another one next round. However, if they keep this up, Vex are definitely going to be in a bad situation entering the final couple rounds of this half. If Sogbox can keep this up, it's going to apply immense pressure on Vex, especially when they don't have the ultimates to back it up currently. However, Sogbox have the lockdown in their back pocket, ready for a retake at any time. Crucial, crucial round coming right up. Poised to potentially go on to CD's point, or will Sogbox keep us fighting and get a third map out of it? Vexed again, the proving they like to be patient, like to just sit and spawn and kind of feel things out and send a couple of feelers out from either side and then react off of it once they have an understanding as to where Sogbox are set up. They will then pounce onto it. Yeah, again, Vex just taking their time, not being any, not showing any sort of aggression at the start of these rounds, just really feeling it out, letting the clock run down. They've already reached a minute left on the clock. A sock box positioning three of their members outside of A. Prepared for the Vex hit, as Vex do seem mm. to be probing A quite a bit, and I think they've yeah, prepared themselves yeah. for that. <gasps> oh, he really does get oh. dropped though. Rudy has been hot and cold on the operator all day, unfortunately loses out a crucial pick here, we need to check the corners, they don't even care, they're just going to dash right past it, looks as though Vexter here to try and close this round out, they want to wait on back, but since you have something to say, he finds himself a double and then eventually is killed off, courtesy of Loki, one member now for Sobok to stop what is a crucial, crucial round coming through for Vexed, and series point off the back of it, the spike is down, Eagle Peak has to try and clutch this one up, spots out some of that Killjoy utility, moves around, no, Swan Grenade will go down. Doesn't quite know how close they are though. Look how just it reacts immediately off the sound cue. Deals with the Eagle Peak. Series point for Vexed. And it looks good on the economy as well. Certainly does. Sogbox, just Eagle Peak unable to use that lockdown in that 1v3 situation. Because chances are all three players will just mm. rush them if that's the case. Oh yeah. They're not going to be able to do anything about it. They need teammates to back you up in that lockdown situation. However, it's not over yet. They do need five rounds to bring it back to overtime. Uh, something that is very much a possibility with the ultimates that they have and the yeah. way Sogbox have been performing. They just got a little bit unlucky there, some bad timings, and they didn't play off each other. However, we are entering this potential match point here for Vex. Playing nice and slow like they have been. <laughs> sitting outside B, sitting outside mid, looking for any contact. <laughs> every time, they just want to freeze. Every time. <laughs> The, r the round doesn't start. I said this about a team earlier. The round does not start until a minute, a minute time. Almost are vexed. <laughs> out there and Pels just goes wonders. Yeah, 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 you know what? Actually, guys, I'm getting bored of this. Yeah, let's wander through. Just take the kill and then the back. <laughs>
Prophet immediately taking up that position. They know how important it is to have someone inside the garage and they have to be careful here. The position will be given away and that is uh, probably good news for the Killjoy of Petals who had their back turned for a moment and goes on the hunt off the back of it. They catch another one! Petals! He's been gifted these two kills! Sogbox, a little bit of a sloppy start to the rest round, but at least Chinch, he'll find one of the Petals with at least a shutdown on them. For now, Rudy will can't quite land the shots here. Luki's just too aggressive. The blade storm from behind. Now Luki will finish off Rudy eventually. Two members here for Sogbox. Two of them alive to try and stop this. Try to keep them in this matchup. Keep them in this competition. Stempy will at least find King Ash. Lou trying to go for the plan. No, but there's so much utility. Singing out either side, Lou eventually will get the spike down. Most yeah, scenario is established. Standing. Luca though will find Stempy oh, and Cinch now with one on to Lou. He's in a one versus two. 12-7 on the score. He has to get the clutch to keep them here, to keep them at Epic Land, to keep them within fighting distance, but he's not going to go quickly. He doesn't want to get head round, he doesn't want to give away the position spots one, but turns his back and Luki, who has been there time and time again for Vexed, shuts it down. And Vexed, they win it 2-0. Amazing stuff there from Vexed. Really well played, especially in that last round. Certainly Seeing was. the counter rolling thunder against Sogbox's one to retake yeah. the site. They said absolutely not. And use that rolling thunder in return to prevent them yep. from pushing on ultimately saving them in that round. Wonderful game. What a wonderful game. Certainly was. We will, though, close things out for me and you for tonight. There is one more game to coming right up after a short break, though. See you back here in five. Ta-ta.